Hey, it's Zombie, and today I'm going to talk about six different beauty uses you can do with baking soda. So I'm going to get into it. Now the first one is it can be a natural exfoliator. You can either mix it with water or you can mix it with your usual face cleanser, which I prefer to mixing it with the facial cleanser. And then just rub it on your skin and then there you go, you got your own exfoliant. It's actually really good for oily skin or acne prone skin. I recently used it as a natural exfoliator and I actually really like it. It's also really good for cuticle care. If your cuticles are looking a little worse for wear, you know, too many manicures or too many acrylics, all you need is some baking soda and some warm water. You can scrub your fingertips with it. It'll exfoliate your fingertips and cuticles and the dead skin cells. You can also use it as a dry shampoo. You only need like a little bit in your palm, a little dime size, you know, just throw it up in your hair, rub it to your scalp, brush your hair out. It makes a great dry shampoo in a pinch and you probably already have some around your house. So. It also works really well as a cleaning agent. Like if your brush is like really dirty, dingy, full of products, gross, because mine definitely is and I need to do this. But if it's got like built up oil and products in your brush, you just put some baking soda in a bowl of warm water and you dip your brush in there and let it sit and it will clean it off. And if you want to disinfect it, you can put a couple teaspoons of bleach in there too. So your brush will be nice, fresh and clean like it was the day you got it. This is great at removing chlorine from your hair, but it's also really good as a clarifying shampoo. Mix with your shampoo. You mix, if you mix it with your shampoo, you can make a clarifying shampoo and you can wash all the products that are built up in your hair, oils. And you can also use it with dish soap to get chlorine out of your hair, which, you know, gets built up when you're in there. And you can rinse all the chlorine out of your hair. But make sure if you use it either way that you use a really good deep conditioner because it will dry out your hair. You can also, <laughs> you can also use baking soda as a skin brightener. You need baking soda, lemon juice, and a few drops of olive oil. And you just put it on your skin. You put it on your skin, leave it on for 10 minutes, and your skin will look nice and brighter. So that's my six different beauty ways of using baking soda. I mean, ever since I got this, I was looking up all kinds of ways to use this in my beauty routine. And I found a ton of ways, except that those six were my favorite, so I had to share those with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope everybody has a great night, and I'll see you in my next video.